Okay, my name is Trooper Sean Compton, Pennsylvania State Police here in Punxsutawney. I'm with Sean Casey uh, Fairman, also with Trooper Lee Bunyak, PSP, Clarion, and uh, County Detective Dave Rothfuss Roth 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 mm -hmm. with the Indiana County DA's office. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, you agreed. I had, I had informed you that I'm recording this by audio and by video, correct? Yes. Okay. And you agree to take a give us a statement. Prior to that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you read you uh, your rights and warning waiver. My name is Trooper Sean Kong from Pennsylvania State Police. You have an absolute right to remain silent. Anything you say you can will be used against you in court of law. You also have the right to talk to an attorney before and have an attorney present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney. One will be appointed to represent you without charge before questioning if you so desire. If you do decide to answer questions, you may stop at any time you wish, and you cannot be forced to continue. Mr. Chairman, do you understand what I have read you? Yes. Okay. And do you agree? Uh, is it okay? Will you, do you agree to uh, speak with us? Yes. Okay. Let's get back to tonight. You, you started off, you said you showed up there approximately midnight. You yes. got there by... By your own vehicle? Yes. Okay, what kind of vehicle is that? I didn't live a uh, Chevy truck. Oh, fine. What color? It's maroon. A maroon? It's on top of the hill. Is it a regular cab or? It's a big four door. Big four door? Yes. Uh, you said setting up on top of the hill. Where's the hill? Where's it? A parking lot or yeah, along the road? Water place. Neighbor's property. Neighbor's property? Yes. Okay. So you park it up there and you walk down to the house. What do you take with you down to the house? What do you carry with you? Myself. Yourself. Okay. You get down the house. Now this house, I haven't been there. From what I heard, this is like a two-story farmhouse? Old farmhouse. Old farmhouse, yes. Okay. Front door faces the, the street. Are there any lights on in the house? Yes. I get down there. My father-in-law is down there at my house at fucking midnight with my wife. And she thinks something's going on. So I look in the window, and he gets comes up to the door and says, he's not a lock the door. And he gets in the window, and he sticks a gun in my face in the window. Were the lights on in the house that you could see him, yes. or are you looking through the street? No. I was on my front porch looking through my window, and he kept running his mouth, running his mouth. Okay, and what was he saying? I don't know. I don't know. Just yelling. To, to get out of there, or was he threatening you? Yeah. Both. Both? Yeah. Tell me, fucking kill me if I make it out of the house. Okay. And this gun he had, uh, what did it look like? Just like a little generic 9 member. I don't know what it was. Right. Something little. A little, little black. And what hand would he hit it? Point this gun at? Right hand. His right hand. Uh, what are you saying to him when he's making these traps? Same thing. Not that you want to speak with, you just want to talk to Jessica or what your intentions are, why you're there. You didn't say anything. Okay, and then what happens? You knew what happened. Yeah. He doesn't shoot at you? Okay. Earlier you told me that you brought a 45 caliber long colt revolver with you so, uh, and you have 30 or 6 because yeah, you're, not, you're not sure if you'll get down to the house or not. Okay. Where did you have this, this, this pistol at? Like, it was in the holster or your waistband? In the hand. So you carried it down yeah. in your hand? Yes. Okay. Well, no, I didn't carry it down. So I stuck it in my, in my belt. In your belt. Did he know you had that gun? No. No way knew I had that gun. He couldn't see it. Even my buddy I took it from, he didn't know I had it. Okay. You know how bad a person feels before all this shit, something like that happens. You have everything taken away from you. You're told what you can and can't do. When you're putting a bucket in that house against your will, how does it make you feel? No. Everything was supposed to make me better. It didn't. Okay. 
So he's pointing this gun at you. Yeah. What do you do with your gun? I pulled up and shot him. One time. And where did oh, you Were you did you shoot him or what did you shoot? Yes. yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Yes? Yes. So you shoot him one time? Yes. Do you know where you hit him? Where the chest. Okay. Do you see him go down? Yes. Does he say anything to you? No. Do you then go into the house? Yes. How did you get in? I smashed the window so I shot through. Then I tried to go upstairs and get my wife to get on and help me with him. And when she, she refused to. She just fucking shot me. When you got in the house, did you yell for her saying, I shot your father? Yes. I was in there probably an hour upstairs laying on the floor bleeding all over the place while he was downstairs. And she wouldn't let me go back down. She wouldn't get out with me. You know, we could have done something. Tell me how you got shot. How did that happen? She shot me. I went up to fucking steps to look for her. As soon as I walked to that room, she shot me one time, and I went down, and I got up again, she fucking shot me again. How did you get shot? Shot in the back? Did you see the gun turn? She just, she just didn't fucking move. She just holding up and shooting. But yeah, after the first time, what would you do? Just kind of hunkered up to the side there. How many shots did she end up firing, do you know? I think three. I still had my gun in my hand. I didn't do nothing. I handed it to her. I just fucking prayed to God she didn't shoot me with it. I give up. I done wrong. I wanted to help. What did you guys talk about until the police got there? Nothing. 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 She's a miserable old bitch. It was nothing. I kept telling her, let's go see if we can help him. No. You move and I'll shoot you again. I'll shoot you right between the fucking eyes, she told me. I said, we can go help him. I said, I'll get on the steps first. Did you ever hear him calling for any help or anything like that? No. God, you know, money. How about that kind of person? This screwed up right now. Good time. You said you took this gun uh, from a buddy. Mm -hmm. He didn't know. I'm not going to detail about What's that? So I'm not going to detail about it. His name, name's Bill Troop, though, right? Troop? Yes. Troop. Troop. Now, this gun, you took it out of his truck. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Was this was this before the sheriffs took your, your, your guns? It's been a while ago. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, if you had your own guns, why would you take, take his? I mean, what, what would be the reason to take his? What's that? You ever seen an old 45 well coat? Just a nice old antique gun. Well, to do. No, oh, it's he new. Had, he had a pair of them. Two of them. Okay. Now, this rifle, how did you get in possession of that? You want to know? I'd like to know. You want me to tell the truth? Doesn't hurt. I bought a tank. I bought a tank to fucking harness shop in Smithsburg from the Amish. They got guns over all the time. You don't have to show nothing. You give them cash, it's yours. And how much you pay for it? Doesn't matter. Just curious. Three hundred bucks. Three hundred dollars. Is this a scoped rifle or nope? Bolt action? Nope. Very all six had two shells up for it. He shells in my pickup, so you guys didn't take them. They took everything in my house. So there, those, those bullets you didn't go buy, you, you actually yeah. had those in your truck still? Yeah, I can't buy bullets right now. Two of them. Okay. I didn't have a whole 
what you'll forward to. That this isn't what it's after. Well, what were you after? What were, what were you trying to? What's that? Uh, okay. What's that? See that happen to me? I'm being the fucking nut for again. You were you were talking about that. Um, you told me once that uh, you had com uh, committed yourself. And how long ago was that? About two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And that was where? What hospital? Katani. Katani. Old strong. Were you uh, were you living with your mom and dad at the time? Nope. I was living at the house. You were still living at the house when that happened. No. Nope. Okay. I got out of there and I was a piece of fucking dog shit. I got out. Well, it was my second day and I had PFA against me and was told I can't take any of my shit and nothing. So I go from living with crazy people to living back at home with mom and dad. But I'm supposed to fix myself and make myself better. When they give you some medicine? That selects them the wrong. Or antidepressants and uh, anxiety? Yeah. Does it work? I don't know. It doesn't take no long enough to. So that selects it take about eight weeks to work. When was the last time that uh, you spoke with Jessica? Last time? Yeah. The 11th of last month. And what, what, what happened when I had my last blow up? What was that? I'm not doing the details, man. Okay. Did something, was there a court date or something on the 11th of May? But okay, that wasn't the PFA court day or anything? That's, I don't know. No. No. It's 11th, it's 11th. Well, our papers when we were separated, so that's what brings a bell to me. You received divorce papers? Today, in the mail. In the mail? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know put stuff to sign for them. Made my fucking day. What time did you do that? About 10 o'clock. Is that when you started drinking, after, right after that? Well, actually, that was decent. I waited until lunchtime to start. Usually that don't, but... Okay. So, uh, you start drinking at lunch. Were you hanging out down at Mom and Dad's, or just driving around? Mom and Dad's. How long do you stay there until you leave? I so I took a nap for a while today. And I slept for a while. Actually, a good while. Then I left. What time was that? Uh, right, five or six o'clock. Where'd you go then? I drove home. Uh, Still drinking? No, I stopped, you know. I sobered up and... What's the matter? I'm just trying to, what, what, what was running through your head, you know, what were you thinking, you know? I just, oh. I mean, how do we get to this point? I mean, that's what I'm just trying to piece together. Because I'm retarded. And just, well, people do things depressed for and okay. depressed. That's why I've done it, because I was depressed. I didn't try to freaking kill that one, because I was depressed. Just, this pisses me off. I try to go to my house to talk to someone. Especially seeing that I heard that she wanted to talk to me you know, from someone else. And, no. I show up there and she fucking shoots me. So you were going there just to talk to her? I wanted to, yeah. But you never knew what's going to happen. And look. When did you know that her dad was there? When he was standing there? Or did, was there a vehicle out in the driveway? You pulled in the driveway? No, no, I didn't pull in the driveway. No. I didn't pull in the driveway. When I walked out over the hill. You saw his vehicle. Yeah. And it fucking pissed me off. This I don't need anyone. She needs all kinds of help. Tell him she's a fucking bitch. 
What do you think was you were going to accomplish knowing her dad was there going up and knocking on the door? I figured maybe he'd talk to me. Okay. Yeah, he has actually talked to me since it's all still on. But if it's over there, he just goes nuts. You see, I was going to hurt my daughter. I didn't dare to hurt her. I didn't do there to hurt anyone, especially him. God damn it. I'm talking. You know what I've done? I've done. What more do you want me to say? Well, how long have you been with her? Ten years. Ten years. You have a couple kids. Four kids. How old are they? Seven, six, four, and two. It was going to be... Eight on June eighth. The birthday party was supposed to be tomorrow. Hmm. Apparently, you guys have had problems in the past, right? I guess. Hmm. Just ask her. What do you think she wanted to talk to you about? Probably some fucking hateful. What's that? Probably something hateful. Probably tell she had a boyfriend or something. You mentioned that you had heard she wanted to talk to you. Who, who yeah. told you that? You know, okay. Okay. Were you hoping to reconcile with her? Oh, uh, no. I knew I was pretty much fucked either way. Either way went about it. So I guess what we're trying to figure out is what, what you wanted to accomplish when you got there. I thought maybe she would talk to me like a respectable person okay. and not a fucking hateful bitch. But it just didn't work out for me all that. Yeah. You know, I left that house. I got nothing. She gave me three bags of clothes and that was it. When was that? Two weeks ago. She asked you to leave or were you... I didn't have a choice. I got out of the hospital and I had a PFA against me and I'm not allowed on that property. I didn't have a choice. I, mean, I understand you're upset with her, I do. Yeah, but I don't want to hurt anyone. I want to scare the shit out of some people, but not freaking hurt anyone. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. Who the hell wants to kill someone? Who? I don't, I don't know. God damn it. Who did you want to scare? Just her. I just wanted her to see. Because about every other day, that's all. She would call my dad and ask him where I'm at. I don't think it's any of her fucking business what, where I'm at. Why do you think she does that? I think she thinks I was going to fucking butcher ball. Her and the kids. I wasn't going to. There ain't no way I would hurt my kids or her because them kids need her. Yeah. I don't have to be there. Right. But them kids need their mother. Sure they do. But me, no. I don't got to be there. Them kids will turn out fine. She can't understand that. You know, I love my kids. I do. But they need her. Does that make sense to you? I told her that before. She just told me I was fucking crazy for saying that. I wasn't, you know, the best dad. I was a good dad. I also made them listen. I didn't beat them, but I made them listen. You know, you have four of them that's all bunched together at about the same age, and see how you feel. Well, for her, it was easier just to look. Just let them do whatever the fuck they want to do. What's well, easier that way? No, it didn't work that way for me. There ain't no way in hell I would do anything to my wife, Jessica, or any of them kids. No way. And that's what she acted like. She just scared up me. Sean, why did it upset you to find her dad there? Well, because the other day she said she doesn't need anyone to 
support her or anything. It's like the other day, she, she told my old man that she don't need my fucking money. That's what she told him. That I can rot in fucking jail. That she can do everything on her own. And then, you know, the next day comes along. I get my divorce papers. You know, she filed for divorce and she wants child support for four kids and an alibi saying that she does not have enough property to sustain a, a living for her and her children. You know? Mm -hmm. That's two days after her telling, you know, me directly, but right. saying that she don't fucking need anything from me. How'd that make you feel? It would probably upset me. No. When you go out there, you didn't know her dad was there until you got closer to the house? Is that the way I understood that? No, uh, there, there, there car was there, but... But when you left your... As I walked on the porch there, he was in the window. Okay. When you left your truck, did you know her dad was there? No. Okay. And when you left your truck, you told the other trooper that you had your, at least your revolver with you? And you may yes. have had the law. I had, I had both of them with me, but I didn't take it in the house. I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know what matters. I might have taken it. I don't remember. Yeah. I, I didn't. I did shoot it. Okay. But when you left your truck, you let, you know you had the revolver. Yes. But you didn't know if her dad was there yet. No. And you previously said that you were just there to scare her. I wasn't really there to scare her, just, just hoping I could talk to her. Okay. I, I guess the question we would have is why you took the gun from your truck to the house. Well, look what happened there. Yeah. Look, look, look at the whole deal. Look at the whole deal. You can answer that. Okay. Do you know she had a gun? Ah, no. So you didn't know? Did no. Do okay. you think I ever think she'd fucking shoot me? I wouldn't think. Well, guess what? She will. <laughs> She's not too particular. I have to beg her to stop. God damn it. <clears throat> How close were you to this window that you saw your father mm -hmm. on? Like from me to you away or further? Mm -hmm. Probably closer. Closer than that? Yeah, it's a front of the bus. I haven't been there either. Can you explain what it looks like? Is there a window right next to the door? Yeah, then you walk in the door. There's a door for then there's a door for the room, then there's a window. And you porch? Yes. Try to go inside? Yes. Locked, I assume. Yes. At what point do you see The whole time. The whole time. The whole time. After the leave. Okay. And did you but send he six a little big leap in my face? Is that you, I assume? Big leap, yes. And then he walked away. Okay. And he stood clean back to back of the kitchen. And he done it again. And he yelled something. I didn't understand. That was when I died. So he's standing how far away from the window when you shoot? Well, the kitchen isn't that big. Maybe 12 feet. Oh, so he's not up against the window. He's no, 12 feet back. It was, uh, but when you shot, he was yeah, about 12 feet away. So just walked away. Just, God damn it. What was he doing when you shot? What do you mean? Was he just standing in there? Yeah, he had his gun up in the pointer bay. When he was at the window, yes, and then he kind of backs out towards the kitchen, yes, and he stood there and just, you know, you know what I'm trying to do, mm -hmm. just held it there. It just made my fucking blood boil. He was still pointing at when you shot, yes. And that's my fucking house. Well, you saw him go down. Why did you decide to then go into the house after that happened? 
to go in and start giving him what aid. What you done? I, I don't know. I mean, why were you going in the house to, to render him, try to render him aid or to try to well, yell for her, and she wouldn't yell to me, so I went upstairs. Yeah, she knew what happened. She knew what happened. But as soon as I get up the steps, she shot me the first time. And I went down, I tried to get up again, I tried telling her, we need to do something for him. And she just, she said, you move up, I'll kill you. So I get my pistol. And I just laid on the floor. She fucking shot me again because I tried getting up. That's when you were shot the second time. Yeah. Well, he's up for 45 minutes, I bet you. God damn it. Yeah, we... Yeah, I screwed up. I did. I done it. But we could have made some sort of difference. We can appreciate that. What's her to lie about? You know? Let's think of what I'm probably talking about, Pamela. Did you, uh, Trooper Bunyak saying you, you took that gun down there not knowing that her dad was there. Is that that's true? No, nothing was planned. Just nothing was planned. No, I just what was your the plans with the gun? By it's taking away the power right now. Okay. She sees that and she's shitting her pants. Okay. I just I wanted to be able to talk to her. Okay. Oh, I wish you could understand. What did you want to talk about? Just, right? I wanted I, I wanted the PFA and everything dropped. I want everything done. I go along with the divorce. We go our different ways. But I want her to quit control of me. I mean, I couldn't do anything mm -hmm. without people wanting to know where I'm at. And she wanted my dad to call her every time I left that house to let her know where I was at. You don't like being controlled. I mean, no one would. I was controlled for ten fucking years now. So you were okay with the divorce? Yeah. After everything that I heard, yes. What do you mean? I was. I just the way she acted. But this morning you were served or you picked up the divorce papers? Did that upset you? Yeah, well, but, but on the other hand, I thought that it was a thousand dollars I'd have to pay. What do you mean? Because I was filed for divorce on Monday. Oh, so she and pays the court fees? Well, no, she, since she's a fucking cunt, she gets it for nothing. Really? Yeah. She paid, I had paid thousand dollars for PFA or what she paid, nothing. She that went does. to Laurel Legal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thousand dollars for divorce. Mm -hmm. You understand what we're looking at? It. Yeah. What started this tonight? Is it because of the divorce papers this morning? Like, why go there? It, so no, this goes on. It's day to day, man. So it's just kind of building up. Yeah. And was the PFA served on you by our department or a sheriff or something? Sheriff. Did, yeah. When did they do that? I was in the fucking for Okay. And then they came and got your guns, I assume. Where were they? I, I should have brought with me the PFA. Oh, sorry, we give the kid got a reading. They was hid all throughout the house. The guns were. Yeah. There's a difference between hiding them and putting them up out of the way where little kids can't get them. And this this 45 you had today, you got that from a friend. Yes. Okay. I took it from him. Does he? Did he know you did that? No. He How? No, I haven't. How long ago did you do that? I've had it for, oh hell, no longer I've had to be a thing. Like weeks or months yeah, or? A couple weeks. I, 
why would you take that gun? You just like the gun? What smart person then? You starting to pick up on that? No, I don't think I and, think you and, are. And I drink and I get fucking stupid. Did you think that your wife was gonna get a PFA on you? Uh, no, I didn't know what the fuck the PFA was. Okay. I had no idea. Not the slightest clue. Then the one counselor that went in with me, she told me, though, I'm going to suggest that she gets one. She told you that? Yeah. I said, what is that? And she told me what it was. And yes, yeah, about taking my guns and this out. And, oh, okay. Was that conversation before you got this gun from your friend? Hey, what I've had that done before all this happened. That gun is old news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had it. Why do you think you needed the rifle? Did I mention I'm retarded yet? We don't think you're retarded. Well, so. no. We think make some poor judgment. <laughs> there. Isn't it amazing what that little fucking patch of pearl do to man? Well, truth or not, isn't there? Especially when you put time in together, you have kids, and just overnight, I don't want you to fucking leave. Okay. You said about the that rifle, you said you bought it today. And when you said you started drinking around then and took a nap. When did you purchase this gun? You got your papers this morning around 10, got home around noon, you started drinking. You said you took a nap for quite a while quite some time. When did you go buy this, this rifle? Uh, I'm just trying to piece it all together. Just timeline, that's all. They were there in the morning. And there's a whole fucking shit ton of people. And, you know, my circumstances, I don't think it's a good idea to get that. Because I just passed Jessica. Okay. Out the road. So, I chickened out. I asked him, so what time he open to him? I said five. What's the time one back? Five o'clock. What time five? When you say you were there in the morning, what time was that? Not very good. Probably one. So after you got your okay. paperwork, after you got your divorce papers, yeah. Okay. So you go over to the harness shop or in Smexburg around eleven or so. Mm -hmm. They tell you they're open till five. Nope. I go back. They all sorts of shit So the, the, those guns, they have them on display there, or are they just back room kind of guns? I'm just curious. They don't move for right out there for people to look at. People bring them. Okay. And they sell them and yep. buy them and sell. Okay. You said you passed Jessica. You were driving and she was driving more. Yeah. What's that? Oh, earlier today. I passed her. After you went to the post office? Yeah. That wasn't, I didn't have no gun. Okay. Up and then, just. How did you feel when you, when you saw her? About the same as what I think of her anymore. Not, not she's, good enough. Not shitty. No. Yeah. I can't remember, I go, what should I say here? Yeah. I'd like to say a lot, but... You can say whatever you want, yeah. huh? When you... Did that stir up some emotion when you saw her again? Not really. No? Read them papers, though. All the big words. Well, she can't... Doesn't have enough property there to support her children herself. And that upset you because a day or two before she told your dad that yeah. she didn't need your money. And then therein, I make a substantial living and, well, and able to support her. What do you do if you don't mind me asking? I did nothing now because I'm fired. Well, I mean, what did you do before? You have a nice truck. Works at Universal. What's that? I'm right here in Punk City, Frack Crew. Oh. Frack Crew. Okay. Well, that's going on. So. 
when did you decide that you were going to buy that long gun? Today. Do you know like when to that? What's it matter? Just curious. I don't know why I bought it. First of all, I'm not good with money. And I'm finding that out. I was never allowed to have money. I had debit cards while she took it off me. So she controlled the finance? I had to fucking beg for money. Every week for gas money, I had to beg for it. She gave me 20 bucks to spend in a good two weeks. Did you have cash on you this morning, or did you go withdraw some money? I had cash. How, how much? $300 or more? Did you know how much that gun would cost? Taking a shot in the dark. Yeah. How, how did you have money? Did she give it to you? I didn't have a job. No, I mean, you said she controlled your money and would give you I got my own money now. It was my own account. Okay. She can fucking get her own goddamn money. I sent her 700 and some dollars last week. Three. Do you think I got anything out of it? Nothing. She can't even have my kids call me every night. I can see how that would upset you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I told my mother last night, I said, I'm not calling. I said, there ain't no reason. Their mother can't. Well, Anna knows how to dial phone. She used to call, call grandma over four. Hmm. Which one? She's a seven-year-old. No. When was the last time you talked to your kids? Okay. Last time was night four. Okay. Do they normally call you or? Oh, fuck no, I can have mom call and then I call them back. Oh. Yeah, it'll be too hard for her just to have them call me. God. This place where you bought the long end, did you know that they don't do paperwork? Why do you think I went there? I don't know. I'm not from this area, so I don't know where to buy a gun. the first gun I bought there. Okay. So you, you knew you could go in there with cash yeah. and walk out of there with a gun? You betcha. It doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that you guys need to go over and pester them about everything either. Oh, well, I, that's I, not our concern. I know it's not legal, but I don't, I don't care. What do you want to do? Other people bitch about too, because yeah, you know, on one hand, it's not a good thing. Because you got people like me that get a little screwed up and what would happen tonight? Where'd you go when you need a gun? It's easy, I would need some cash. So yeah, maybe it does need a dress. Okay. You see what I'm saying though? I see where you're coming from. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be able to go over here to Bills and buy a gun. You would not, you say? No. Right. But I can walk in there, and I can handle 300 bucks. There you go. Just just long guns, or they have pistols, too? No, they don't have pistols. Just, uh, just long guns. Whatever people bring in the cell. Rifles, shotguns, muzzleloaders, just whatever people bring in the cell. New, old, used. I bought quite a few over there last year before all my troubles and it was a good, pretty good deal on them. I might as well shove that fucking three hundred dollars on my ass. But I'm better off with my second work than my go in and sit on the bar and just sit there on it. Did you have an accident in your truck? Yeah, she had a band. 
That is what they always you see it. I'm a downer. Uh, it's not. I thought that a little weird. I'm, that's just. I'm seeing people. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. actually, they have these little things. It's got a couple of little scripts that that's on fire. Except it's 104. Uh, 05. It's a big old boot. Michelle, who was the last person you saw out of that? Before he went down to the house. You mentioned earlier you were with a friend. It's no way he's brought into it. I didn't even get to talk to him, just two doesn't have to work out. Yeah. And you got your paperwork today. Did you talk to anyone about it? Your mom and dad? Friends? Yes. Mom, blah, blah. You talked to your mom about it? So they sent it to us after beer. What about this body? Did you, did you talk to him about this paperwork? No, I haven't. Uh, I used to work with this guy. I could work at the same place and I haven't talked to him in a good while. He just lives right down the road from my mom's dad. I figured I'd get back and touch him, but it wasn't us. One of your problems with the you know, when you said you got out of the hospital there was a PFA and then this divorce and stuff. Mm -hmm. who, who do you normally talk to? I mean, uh, pretty much no one. You don't have a couple of buddies you sit down and no, see really. what's going on and just someone to... Yeah, I pretty much fucked myself over the years as far as friends go. So. Why do you say that? Well, that's her. She looks like too. Just ask her. They don't, they're not friends with you because of her? No, it's just because of me. Well, I push everyone away. Yep. I'm not a big big person. At all. I have nothing really else for you, Sean, unless there's something else that you want to talk about. Uh, Where would that be? I don't know that right just yet. We can take it back down where you were there and you lay on that bench. You know it's a hard ass metal bench, but I'm not going to do it. they leave? Uh, I think I saw them out in the lobby. I don't know if they're still here or not. I love talking. Um, I'll have to find out. You know that. They're going to be pissed at me if they make screwing work. I'm sorry? They're going to be pissed at me if they make screwing work. Well, yeah, man. Are you upset <laughs> with yourself right now, Sean? Explain what you mean. I get you mean your like regret? Go, but yeah. You said earlier yeah. you had decisions. You could have went to the bar and drank, or yeah. you could have done that. Yeah, that's what I should have done. That's, that's, yes, I have regret. I'm not, 